Hello everyone. I'd like to welcome you all to the Saugatuck River here on a beautiful afternoon in Westport, Connecticut. This week's Parsha is Parsha Korach, in which Korach and his rebellion rebel against Moshe and Aaron, the leadership of the Jewish people. Now Rabbi Jonathan Sachs brings out a very, very important lesson and beautiful message for each and every one of us to take away from this week's Parsha. And he starts with a Mishnah in Pirkei Avot that speaks on this. And it reads as follows. Every argument for the sake of heaven will, in the end, be of permanent value. But every argument not for the sake of heaven will not endure. Which is an argument for the sake of heaven? The argument between Hilla and Shammai, as we see most, argu- most of Judaism is really made up of arguments. Um, which argument is not for the sake of heaven? The argument between Korach and his company, which is this week's Parsha. So we see from this that the essence of the arguments between Hillel and Shammai for the sake, really for the sake of truth. And we see that both sides take account of each other's opinions and admit their own faults when applicable, which shows that arguing for the sake of heaven is arguing really for the truth, while arguing not for the sake of heaven is arguing strictly for victory, for the pursuit of victory, or just for the pursuit of power, as we see with Korach's rebellion, on the other hand. Right? It was a pursuit of power, a pursuit of victory, that was aimed at uprooting the leadership of Moshe and Aaron so that his rebellion could take power. Now, great question, why do we practice halacha like Hillel in general and not like Shammai if their arguments were for the sake of heaven, for the sake of truth? So it's taught in the Gemara in Erevin on Daf Yud Gimel Amid Bet um, that the school of Hillel wouldn't just teach the, the opinions of Shammai. In fact, they would teach the opinions of Shammai before their own opinions, just to emphasize that they were just seeking the truth and not a victory or a power that, that we practice like them and not like Shammai. Now, in an argument for the sake of power, both sides always lose. The, the victory, the, the, the side that's victorious loses because in, this, in diminishing their enemy, they really diminish themselves. But in an argument for the sake of heaven, if you're on the losing side, you also win. Because being defeated by the truth is the only form of defeat that's also a victory. Now, this rule is also exemplified in this week's Parsha. As Moshe, quote unquote, wins in this in this argument for the sake of power, for the sake of victory that Korach brings up, he really loses because we see when the ground comes and swallows up the rebellion, the Jewish people the next day say, Moshe, what, Moshe Aaron, what did you do? You, you killed the people of the Lord, of Hashem. That's not okay. So really in diminishing the enemy, they really diminish themselves, which shows that in this argument, not for the sake of heaven, an argument for victory, for power, just seeking these things, really both sides lose, even the victorious side. Now, this is this concept, this lesson is extremely relatable to our daily lives in 2022. As always, the hot button topic is politics. And we see that, <clears throat> we see that across the board, we argue for the sake of victory, really, for the sake of power, and not for the truth. And we take after Korach and his rebellion, Datan and Aviram, the, the Reubenites, and, and we don't hear out the other side, and, which is especially applicable for me after spending the past year in Israel. I really see this a lot with people that are anti-Israel. I see this, see this almost every day. Um, so we, I give us all a bracha that we're really able to learn from Korach and his rebellion what not to do, that we should really argue only for the sake of truth, and not for the sake of victory or power. And that from now on, we take on our Jewish spirit to argue as for thousands of years, that's what Judaism is, that's what we do. We argue for the sake of truth to find what is right. Now, not only that, but to stay aware that we're arguing for the sake of heaven, for the sake of heaven, for the sake of truth, and not in the pursuit of victory. And with that, I wish you all a Shabbat Shalom.